Nathan, with your $1 holler, says, Better not go live, boy. Yeah, see, Nathan, I rule your sad life. Thanks for your dollar, troll. I'll go live when I want to. It doesn't matter when I go live. But, like, oh, hey, I'm on YouTube trying to sp speak my two cents and to help everyone in the genders get along. Get along. All is fair in love and war, so gain the tactical advantage. What's up, YouTube? How you doing? In this uh, crazy pandemic. Yes, sir, we got wands for sale over on my Etsy. Going live on the YouTube. Ho oh, ho, look at that. Someone already bought the crystal scepter. Ho oh, ho, that was fast. But right there's the link to the shop. If you want to buy a uh, Cobra Craft handmade wand, greatly appreciated. I did have to charge a little bit more for these other ones because they took longer to make and the handles are a lot fancier. <laughs> One left already. Damn. Them wands are selling like hotcakes, baby. Pink and purple wand. Four people have this in their cart. Blue wand. Three people have this in their cart. Orange wand. Four people have this in their cart. Ooh. I consider myself very grateful that I still have a job. There are a lot of us out there who uh, unfortunately are out of work. Might have to walk down to my bank, and uh, if I got any money for an 18-pack, pull it out and get me an 18-pack, because this calls for a bloody celebration. Show us one. Wow. I can do that. Look how shiny it is. And this is why I had to charge more for this is why I had to charge more for these wands because this copper wire is not cheap. Laugh my ass off, he just makes the wands after they sell. Well, you kind of have to if you want to keep your business open, laugh my ass burgers off. Making wands in a big batch like that is difficult. It's time consuming and they take longer to process the more you put in the batch. That's why I tend to do no more than like minimum of 10 per batch. Makes it easier to process, you know. <coughs> mm, smoker's cough. I've been smoking since I was, I've been smoking tobacco since I was 17 and now I'm 29, so it's only a matter of time <coughs> before I started getting a smoker's cough. And this is why I like having a pipe. It's like if I'm out of tobacco or if I need a cigarette and I don't have a cigarette, I can raid an ashtray and then when I raid the ashtray, squeeze butts into my pipe. That way I'm not smoking someone else's used cigarette butt, especially with all the crazy shit that's going on. Mm -mm. So here's a life hack. If you're out of cigarettes and you have a tobacco pipe, you may look a little desperate squeezing a bowl of cigarette butt tobacco into your pipe, but by the time you get done, you know, you got yourself a bowl of tobacco and you're ready to go. If I have enough money for a pack, uh, 18 pack of Rolling Rock, I'll get one. On a side note, man, the other night I was watching those darn frigs on Chatterbait, and well, 
I wish I had cryptocurrency so I could give give her coins. You know, I feel kind of bad when I watch girls on Chatterbait and I don't have money to give them coins. I feel bad. I genuinely do. Because it's like, you know, they're working an honest profession. And, um, yeah. Maybe someday when I build my dream house and if I'm still single then, <laughs> you know. The thing of it is, watching Chatterbait is free, but to upgrade to a premium account and be able to send the, the cam models tokens, you got to have a credit or a debit card. And, well, I guess I'm not allowed to have a debit card, so it is what it is. Like, you don't even know. I, I want to give those darn frigs, like, 666 tokens for all the amazing nights she's kept me company, you know? Which, on a side note, if you haven't had a girlfriend in almost three years, Chatterbait becomes a godsend, you know? Do your thing as much as you can. And then when you're done, you can turn the computer towards your bed. And then you pass out watching her. It's almost like having a girlfriend. You know how pathetic that sounds. <laughs> uh, I'll admit it, I am kind of jealous of some of my friends and their ability to attract the opposite sex. But I've since learned that just because you can attract them doesn't mean it's better, you know? I mean, there are several advantages to being single and having no kids, no STIs, you know? Several advantages. I can sit here and watch YouTube all night if I wanted to. You know, I can drink as much beer as I want, smoke as much tobacco as I want, eat whatever crappy, unhealthy food I want to eat. I think somewhere along the road, somewhere on down the road, like a couple months back, I just, I got tired of complaining about not having any pussy in my life. I got tired of bitching about it. I just decided instead of bitching because I'm not getting laid, let's try to focus on bettering the relationship between the genders. At least I'm not depressed over the dry spell anymore. I can say that. I'm a freaking YouTube celebrity. I got the muscles, you know. I have a lot of attractive qualities that women desire. Um... I feel like, personally speaking, the only thing stopping me right now is my nasty temper and my confidence. People often wonder, why does the dating scene in Casper suck so much? Well, it's not just the dating scene in Casper. The dating scene in general sucks. It's because people don't trust each other. You can have a decent girl, but if she meets enough assholes. Trust and believe she's going to hate guys or trust them a little bit less or have trust issues in general. Which I get that, you know, when you've been treated like shit on the dating scene or when you've had nothing but shitty experiences, you know. My biggest problem is I get rejected by every chick I like. It's just this, this weird curse that I have. I've had it my entire life, you know. I guess you just keep asking until one says yes. That's that's how you do it, you know. When I find the right one, it'll be different. Like, I'll be able to spot her out from across the room, and I'll be like, damn, that chick is fine. Fuck, I'd like to buy her a drink. Hmm. You see that cute goth chick sitting over there? Yeah, I'd like to buy her a drink. Whatever she wants, put it on my tab. Cool. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. If you're at the bar trying to get laid, don't look like you're trying to get laid because 
when people go to the bar trying to get laid, it, the look of desperation on their face, it's so fucking obvious. You know, with, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Here's what you do. Like I said, you see a cute chick who's sitting by herself at the bar. Maybe she's hanging out with her friends. Buy her a drink. Put it on your tab. Be like, you know what I'm saying? The bartender, the bartender would be like, that goth gentleman over there wearing the cowboy hat just bought you a drink. What, what would you like? And if the, at that point she buys your drink, she'll take a couple sips of it, you know, kind of thing. At that point, if she decides that she wants to engage, engage in conversation with you, she'll do it. Okay. Like, ladies have their ladies' night out. They're with their gal pals having a drink. They don't want some sleaze ball trying to get down their pants. And women, sometimes they get sick of it, you know, that they're trying to have a drink with their female friends. And, like, ten guys try to get down their pants and shit. So, and here's the thing. That's why I say, let the women come to you. Okay. A true ladies' man will have the ability to make women notice him out of everyone else in the room. Stay tuned for another live video and for more wands on the Etsy.